Good afternoon, traders. John Caruso coming to you here for the afternoon of June 3rd with a quick look in on the market right now. Uh, currently, we got uh, stocks right across the board, well off the lows here this morning. Uh, the S&P is trading down 20 basis points, the NASDAQ down 72, and the Russell down 69 basis points. Um, we still do have positive momentum, still bullish trend on all of the broader indices, and we did register an immediate term oversold signal in the NASDAQ this morning. Uh, low end of a range coming into today was 13,472. We got as low as 13,462. Close enough, but uh, we are uh, seeing some uh, uh, some back and fill here uh, from this morning's weakness in the market. Uh, we did see some very strong numbers come out on the jobs front. ADP 978, uh, market is looking for up 650. Claims reached the pandemic low at 385. So with the strong data that we saw come out this morning, why the soft market? Uh, well, we did see the 10-year uh, yield bounce. Uh, we are currently on the morning highs right now at 162. Uh, that's up three basis points. Um, there's a little bit of a waft of a Fed taper in the air. You got to believe with the strong employment data coming out, the strong economic uh, macro data that we've seen over the past several months start to uh, ex uh, continue to accelerate, that the Fed has to be talking about a taper currently uh, inside the walls of the Federal Reserve. So um, that's probably why. So a little bit of a taper tantrum. We do have asset prices largely lower this morning. Copper's taking a hit right now. Gold took a hit this morning as well as silver. Still don't like gold. Gold gets, uh, we see a close above 1920 in gold. That's when we'll get positive on gold. But uh, still, uh, uh, gold is still telling us, um, still bearish trend, much improved pattern. Uh, but we, we like silver a lot better. And we actually did issue a signal on silver this morning. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, taking a look at oil, uh, up 44% year to date. Uh, we are modestly lower uh, on the session. So if there's any sign of real trouble in the economy, uh, here in the near term, we think we would see that in the oil space. We're not seeing it yet. Uh, we did uh, have uh, July and August pegged as a period of risk for stocks where you could see, you know, anywhere between an, another 10 to 20 percent correction in the equity markets uh, take place. We do believe that the Fed is going to taper uh, perhaps as soon as July. And we could see another taper ta tantrum uh, over the next several weeks uh, in the equity space. So, uh, but largely we do think that the market will see through uh, a taper by the Fed. Right now the Fed's running at 120 billion in QE, in QE purchases. Let's say they scale back to 100, perhaps as low as 80 uh, here in the near term. Well, the Fed put is still in place. We do think that the market will eventually look through that uh, and we will see another rally in, uh, in both equities and commodities into year end. Um, so keep that in mind. That's kind of how a little bit more of a longer term outlook on the market for you. Uh, but that's kind of how we think things are going to play out uh, throughout the, uh, the uh, in the back half of the year. So that's all I have for you right now. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions. If you want to take a look at some of the emails and the market insight letters that we put out every single morning, uh, as well as uh, our trade signals, email me, uh, jcaruso at rjofutures.com. We'll extend you a free two month trial. Uh, you can kind of uh, take a peek behind the curtain, track our P&L columns, and ultimately uh, make the decision for yourself if uh, this is a program that you want to be a part of. So uh, once again, John Caruso here. Uh, feel free to reach out at jcaruso at rjofutures.com. Good luck. Take care. We'll see you back here soon.